हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस आई एम गुरमीत सिंह एंड आल्सो वेलकम टू द कंप्लीट सीरीज ऑन चैप्टर सर्कल फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स वी विल कवर ऑल दिस लेक्चर्स इन दिस सीरीज यूजिंग द पावर ऑफ विजुलाइजेशन एंड एनिमेशन एंड स्पेशली इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर द थियरम टेन पॉइंट टू प्रूफ नोट दैट वी विल ओनली कवर द प्रूफ द कॉन्सेप्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन द लेक्चर वन चेक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो विदाउट टेकिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट विद द लेक्चर Theorem 10.2 is the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. So this is the theorem. Before taking down the proof, let's understand the concept. Then only we will take down the proof. For that, let's take a circle, and we are having a external point P. And in the introduction lecture, we have seen from the external point we can have only two tangent. All the other lines from this external point toward the circle. Will be either secant or non-intersecting line. Only two lines can be tangent from an external point. So here, PQ and PR are the two tangent from this point P to our circle. The concept is that PQ and PR are the length of the tangent, which will be equal in this case. The length of the tangent from any external point toward a circle are equal to each other. This is the property of the tangent, and in this theorem, we will prove the same. If you read the wording of the theorem, you will understand it further. The length of tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are equal. Here, P is the external point, and P Q and P R are the length of the tangent. So, this is the concept. Let's prove the same. So, in the given portion, we are having a circle with the center S O, and P is the external point that is outside the circle. P Q and P R are the two tangents to the circle. Point Q and point R are the point of contact. That is point at which the tangent is touching the circle. So this is a given portion, and here we have to prove P Q is equal to P R. That is length of the tangents are equal. In the construction portion, let's join Q O, Q P, and Q R. These three line segments we have joined. Are you able to observe the two triangles? So these are the two triangles that will be used in this theorem. Moving further. In the previous theorem, that is 10.1, we have done that tangents to any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. That is, the radius and tangent are perpendicular to each other. The angle between the radius and tangent is a 90 degree angle. So here, this angle Q will be 90 degree angle. Why? Because OQ is the radius and PQ is the tangent. So this angle will be 90 degree, as per theorem number 10.1. Similarly, OR and PR, the angle will be 90 degree. Here, OR is the radius and PR is the tangent. Further, let's compare the triangle OQP and triangle ORP. These two triangles. Here, angle Q and angle R are both equal to each other as both are 90 degree angle. So, both of these triangles are a right angle triangle. Angle Q and angle R both are 90 degree angle. Further, here OP and OP is common in both the triangle, so we can say OP is equal to OP. That is common in both the triangle, so both will be equal to each other. Further, OQ and OR both are radius of this circle. That is, OQ will be equal to OR. The radius of a common circle are equal. So, in both of this triangle, can we say both of the triangle are congruent to each other by RHS congruency rule? Here, both the triangle are a right angle triangle. And hypotenuse of both the triangle are also equal. Here, OP in both the triangle is the hypotenuse. How we know? Hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to 90 degree angle. Here, angle Q and angle R are both 90 degree angle, and the side opposite to both of these angles are the hypotenuse, that is OP. So we can say both the triangles are a 90 degree angle, and hypotenuse of both the triangle are also equal. And one of the side that is OQ and OR are equal to each other, so that is the RHS criteria. Both the triangle should be a right angle triangle. Hypotenuse should be equal, and one of the side should be equal. So by RHS rule, we can say both the triangles are congruent to each other. Once we got both the triangles as congruent, we can easily say by CPCT all the sides will be equal. Only the side remaining is PQ and PR. So we can conclude that PQ is equal to PR by CPCT, the corresponding part of the congruent triangle CPCT. So PQ is equal to PR, which we have to prove as equal. 
that is both the tangents from the external point are equal in length that is the proof of this theorem just wait one important thing is pending just do not close this video one important thing it is pending which will be used in many of the questions here both of these triangles are congruent to each other it means all the sides and all the angles will be equal congruent triangles are exactly copy paste of each other here both of this triangle are congruent it means they will be exactly copy paste of each other all the sides will be equal all the angles will be equal it means these two angles will also be equal to each other in other words we can also say op is the angle bisector of angle qpr both of these angles are equal to each other by cpct both the triangles are congruent this is an important concept and will be used in solving many questions so just note it down so students we have done with this lecture if you have enjoyed the lecture like and subscribe to our youtube channel and also share this lecture with the class 10th student and your friends also check our youtube channel the playlist section for the similar kind of video for the complete series on other chapters for the class 10th student so best of luck for the exam you are preparing for and bye for now and have a great day best of luck